Hi, it's me, Elsa, with the rest of my life story. And I basically just wanted to update you guys with when it comes to my 15-year-old. I brought him in today so you guys can uh, hear what he has to say and his opinion on a lot of things, as well as me asking him, you know, his experiences and his journey and, you know, uh, in life. So basically he's here and I'm going to, I have, I wrote a couple of things down so I can be able to, uh, ask him, you know, just so he don't get too lost in the, in the conversation and as well as what's going on. He actually had the, you know, the, the, uh, I wrote a couple of questions down last night and I let him, ha you know, hold it overnight so he can, you know, look at it and stuff like that and be able to, you know, at least come up with the best of his knowledge of what he remembers of, you know, different scenarios of his life. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. It's totally helpful. And again, here's the update when it comes to my son, and he's going to come uh, and sit down and communicate uh, with you guys. Excuse me. You gotta say your name. Say your your nickname, Junior. Junior. Say hi. My name is Junior. My name is Junior. I'm Elsa's son. I'm Elsa's son. Okay. Okay. Today we're gonna go down. Uh, the last time you spoke to your dad. A week ago. The last time you spoke to your dad was a week ago? Yeah. Have you been trying to call him? Yeah. Has he been answering? No. No? No. Okay, when he, when he doesn't answer, how does it make you feel? No, I'll just be concerned about him. You just be wanting to check up on him and stuff? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Okay, and um, you say the last time you spoke to him, excuse the lightning, guys. The last time you spoke to him was a week ago, correct? Yeah. Give me a second, son. Okay. Thank And uh, the last time we spoke to him, I mean, the last time you uh, spoke to him, was that the time when I tried to call him and tell him, you know, yeah. updates on you and, hey, 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 Sergio, don't touch that. Do not touch that. So, we got that part. Uh, me and your dad divorcing. When you came back from foster care and from your uh, uncle house, explain to them... Uh, basically, how did you feel when you found out everybody changed, nothing was the same? Um, I mean, your dad got a divorce, you know, explain to them, like, your first reaction on how you felt. When y'all broke up, I really was happy inside at the same time because I wanted us as a household. But I really wanted y'all to get y'all stuff back together. Like, like if you would have, if y'all would have got y'all stuff back together, stuff would have been different. And when you say stuff back together, what do you mean by that? I say stuff back. I say, like, when we get organized, yeah, as a whole, as a household, yeah. not just separated. Both of y'all, because we was a small family at the time. Uh huh. So, you ever experienced me and your dad smoking drugs? Yeah. You can tell the truth. This is where it's at. This is my life story. Have you ever experienced me and your dad fighting? When I was young. You, it, you know, what kind of fighting was we doing? Fighting. Like? Domestic violence. And what's domestic violence to you? When the household is fighting. Okay, so you've seen a lot of fight in your whole life, basically. A 
a lot of drama. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned. Uh, I wasn't smoking money at the time. Trust me, we get it. An eye and an eye. Okay? Excuse me, sir. What happened? So what was I talking about again? So they could get back on top. You mentioned we wasn't smoking Molly at the time. Yeah, what I time was, smoking. was that? Yeah, I was smoking Molly. At what time? Before they took you, what? Before they took me. Before they took you? Yeah. Me mm -hmm. and money. I, I want to ask, how do you know the difference? How do you know that it was Molly that we were smoking? Did we tell you that? Did you hear it? Do I, do I come see this? That's fine. I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. So you've seen it and you've seen us smoking it? Yeah. And that was your whole life or no? That was a little bit before they took you? That was just a little bit before they took me. Okay. Let's move on. How was your experience in foster care? It was kind of rough, but I got used to it. And when you say rough, what do you mean rough? Did you experience any fights? You gave me a couple of recordings. I also went in your phone and found some recordings, certain stuff I will not mention. But But tell me. What, 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 did you ever have a fight in the foster home? Yes. How many? Probably like four. Okay, uh, what happened with the first fight? Um, I thought he stole money from him, but he did it. The people had it. They tried to see us fight. Is that the 17-year-old that went to jail? Yeah. Excuse me. That's the 17-year-old that went to jail? Mm-hmm. Well, no, not him. It was somebody different. else? Yeah. Because I seen you had two fights. One of them, the second time, was, um, the second time you had a fight was, um, dealing with the boy who stole your vest. Tell us about that, the boy stealing your vest, and how many times did you have a fight with him? Sergio, you gotta, you gotta calm down. I had a fight with him two times, and I woke up to my vest being gone, and I called his phone, asking him, where's my vest? He said, he, gonna, he, gonna, uh, he got robbed. When he, uh, he said he called the police and all that. And he said he even got a paper that said he got robbed and all that stuff. That's so cool. That's so cool. So how did you dig deep into the proof to find out that that was either the truth or a lie, a fear? I knew you were lying, because he, he, he said he wanted to fight you. He said he wanted to fight you? Yeah. Because, for stealing from you? Mm -hmm. And okay, now that, now that we got that understood with the uh, vest, did you find something out on social media when it comes to the vest and the things he was stealing from you? Did you find him on social media with it? With the vest on? Yeah. Tell him about that. I seen him on Instagram with my vest on. Stuff like that. Okay. Did you tell Tiffany and did you tell your parents? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you sent me a video one time about you and this that same particular boy. Um, <laughs> basically, um, you know, going back and forth and uh, having a fight, and you broke your wrist. Was there any staff around when you broke your wrist? When well, you guys was fighting. It was inside the house. It was inside of the foster, the group home, basically. Yeah. Okay, and now that we know that they was inside of the house in the group home, maybe. Uh, how, 
tell us about that. Tell us about when you got into an altercation. Is the camera still rolling? Tell us about, uh, you know, you having that fight in the program. Uh, and the staff not being there. Tell us how did that even, come, how did that start? The whole situation? Yeah, like, how did how did y'all even get into the, the scuffle like that outside? You say, come outside, what happened? How did it start? What well, really made me mad was when you texted him. Did you text him, right? No, I don't. No, I don't remember. Did I? Yeah, About did. the vest? Yeah. I think I think we didn't text him. We actually told Tiffany. We text him. Mm -hmm. What happened when we text him? Oh, uh, he started. What I said. Um, oh, you don't know. I think Uncle Wild or one of y'all texted him. He started About talking, the best. Yeah, he started talking crazy. So I said, if you come back, we're going to have a bump. we be bump. So basically, uh, a family member, one of us reached out to the child, right? Mm -hmm. About the vets. And he got disrespectful to one of us. And you told him that he, you would like to speak with him when you get back? Yeah. In reference to that. Mm -hmm. And when you say you would like to speak to him, them, to him, what did it lead? Did it lead you outside? Yeah. That's what you meant? Okay, yeah. tell us about that. So I don't want to talk over your situation. I want you to be able to talk about it. Um. So we met outside. I'm gonna. I wanted to fight, so it really wasn't no, no talking. So basically, we started setting it up. People started gathering around us. Um, that's the day we recorded it. And then your wrist? And that's when I punched him. Uh -huh. I, I was beating him. Uh -huh. That's when I broke my wrist. Okay. Have you ever been homeless? Thanks to Poppy, I was. Thanks to who's Poppy? Sergio. And who's Sergio? Your dad. And who's my dad? My granddad. Amen. Okay, so thanks to my father, you wasn't homeless? Right. And why do you say thanks to my father that you wasn't homeless? Because, because how many times was were we, was we in the, we was gonna be sleeping in the hotel? Yeah. Did See, we have any other family right. members? You found it? No. Uh, Okay, yeah, send that to me because I'm going to put it on some, uh, on uh, YouTube. Let's stay focused, okay, baby? Yeah. Now, um, when it comes to, what was we? When it comes to the housing situation. Mm -hmm. When it comes to housing, what happened, uh, the, how old were you think you were the first time you went to a shelter? Party four. You was four or five? Mm-hmm. And were you in the shelter? Was you in the shelter for mother and children? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You was in the shelter for mothers and children, and it was a domestic violence shelter. Were you aware? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now. Um, what, tell us a little bit about the experience you had when we was trying to get in the shelter the last time they took y'all away from me. Explain to them the experience we had when we was in a car, family didn't help us, we, we, we wanted more options in getting in the shelter, the security guy bringing us five dollars, you feeling bad for us, did we ever get inside of the shelter, was it comfortable in the car? Explain to them what happened. Which when one? we was trying to get in the shelter, we slept in front of the shelter. Uh, basically, we couldn't get us out the shelter, so we couldn't get us out the shelter, mm -hmm. so we slept in front of the um, what you call it until they let us in. But then we still ain't getting us out of. We went to another shelter one time, and we got us out the shelter. But what happened that we got kicked out of the shelter besides us? Uh, not being consistently there, did you ever punch a hole in the door of the shelter? Yeah. We're not playing the blame game here. We're just putting out our story, okay? So you, 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 you punched a hole 
in the door. I'll be right back. Let me put Sergio up. So you put Sergio, you got to continue uh, following through. You put Sergio, uh, not Sergio, uh, tell them what happened on the reason why you punched a hole in the wall. You was adapting to change. And I think around that time, your father was shot. Explain to them how you felt when your father got shot and the fact that, you know, you, 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 your back was against the wall. And you were so young, it wasn't much you could do. Explain. I felt bad for him. Um, I wish I was there to protect him, but you know, stuff happens. But thank Lord he ain't died. Yeah. You felt bad for your dad. Yeah. And um, he was with somebody named Shrek, right? At the time when he went to Atlanta? Yeah. You wanted to go with him? I think so, yeah. Okay, and it was betting race cars at the time, right? Yeah. Okay. Now that we got the understanding you were angry, why did you punch the hole in the wall? I forgot. Were you upset? No, we were upset. It probably uh, was something small. But we were in the shelter. You was upset about something small, or what were you upset? You don't remember? No. Okay. Tell us a little bit about how we used to be on 18th, sitting in the car, what we used to sell, as well as, you know, the environment of Mimi in the Roman house or whatnot. How was it sitting in a car all day on 18th? Um, it was hot, dirty. It was boring. Um, the trap life. So it was a trap house? I don't know. You don't know? Were we selling it at the time? Was we was we trapping? Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Do you remember Mimi? Yeah, I remember Mimi. How did she used to present herself on 18th? Walk around naked. Is she on drugs? Was she on drugs? Is she on drugs? What happened? Yeah, she probably was on drugs. She probably was on drugs. So Mimi was on crack. Yeah. She still is. And she's there still. Okay? And I apologize that you got introduced to that environment. At times that we wanted a break, did we have your grandma Tasha to get you and just pop up out of nowhere randomly every weekend or every other weekend or maybe once a month? Have you had anybody besides your granddaddy uh, when it comes to your, your my parents? Was my mom consistently there for you? No. She wasn't. Okay, we're not talking about the times that once upon a two times that she gave you a hundred dollars. We're talking about quality, companion, hardcore love. Well, thank you for that too. Thank you for what, baby? Talk about the camera. Thank you, Grandma, if you are too. Oh, it should be all right. Okay, now. Uh Running away. Have you ever ran away from a foster home? Yeah. Have you ever ran away from home? Yeah. When was the first time you ran away? From home? Yes. I don't think I even ran away. Because I was with family. You don't remember the first time you ran away from home? I, I'm not talking about you just being with family. You could have been with your dad. All I'm saying is, 
How old were you when you ran away from home? Probably when I stopped out the house without your permission. Right. I you can, can say that. I can say 14. Okay. That's fair. That's a fair number. Is the camera still rolling? Yeah. Good. Okay. So you were 14. Have you ever tried marijuana? Yeah. How old were you when you tried marijuana? 14. How did you get marijuana? got marijuana to my friends. Okay, let's move on. Are you on marijuana now? No. No or no? No. Okay. What happened the other night with the company that came over? Did you ask for permission to have her over? No. Okay. Um, get it without your permission yeah. without my permission okay and it just explain to them why you know you did it you know it's no right or wrong i already clarified it with the uh pastor which is my cousin's gr grandmother so i just want you to basically clarify um why you felt as though you needed to go against my rules and have company you know, being that you was only here for a week in Valdosta, Georgia. You know, just a little buzz about it. Cause you want you wanted company, you were bored, like you know, just just let them know. I wanted company. You wanted company. And are you aware that again, I'm not here to bash you, but are you aware that that is considered to be disobedient? Mm -hmm. If you don't Listen. No. Okay. No. Did you ever get to the point of when we were sleeping in front of the shelter? What was what was your feeling? What how did you feel about that? Dirty and cold. Were you sweaty? Yeah, I was. Did we barely even have gas? No. To cut on the AC. No. Okay. What's your favorite sports? Football. Secondary? Basketball. Third. Rapper. Okay. That's your favorite sports. All three. So we got football, primary. We got basketball, secondary. How do you like Vadosa, Georgia? I don't like it. You don't like it? No. Tell me, love. What don't you like about Valdosta, Georgia? The school I'm at. And what school are you at? An alternative. What, what is it called? Alternative? alternative? It's called Park. 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 Parkway? Madison? Don't make me tell no fib. It's called. It's an alternative school. Uh, when did we sign you in the school? Um. Uh, Probably like last week. About a week and a half. Yeah. Per se. And we was concerned on why you wasn't enrolled yet when we registered you. Yes or no? Yeah. So, us being concerned, uh, and the teacher at the school, I don't know if you were aware, asked me how you was doing in the house as well and she just wanted to know a little background on you and thought that it would be best that you would be in a smaller group so you don't suffer from anxiety and quote unquote being that you didn't have an IEP and there was no help in that field with getting you one at least by you being there so soon I don't know why you did that what happened for the music a small amount of people that I didn't do that the school did that Remember, we went to that school to register you, correct? There got to be some other school in there. No, it's cool. Just listen. Your situation, they trying to figure out what's that, what, where, it, where is it best to place you at. Do I think you should have been in an alternative school? No. I think you should have went to Lowndes High School and got the special needs 
what, whatever it is that you needed in that school. If it's a smaller class in that school, that's understandable. But I don't think you qualify for an alternative school because you've never been expelled and you really got a rock sheet around the corner when it comes to being so suspended. You're there because you just left a mental health program for six months and they read the notes and the history from when you was a child on how many fights and how many suspensions you had. And the fact that you were going through anxiety and hallucination, they had to see. Maybe that smaller school might be a best fit for you so that way you don't break out in an anger attack because it's just so much going on. So basically, no one's sure about if the, were they sure, and they came up with the determination that you going to the alternative school might be a best fit for you because it's a smaller group and it's one-on-one -on -one teachers so you can come up with so your I'm credit to get, get lost allowance. He told you when we did the intake that you're gonna be there uh, according to how you, you know, improve and how you do your work and get a, get your, you know, credit. So you could be there for 30 days, you could be there for 90 days, or you can just be there till you graduate. It's your choice. It's just uh, the way alternative schools work. But Miss Thompson was kind of curious on why you was there because she seen you pretty calm today. Okay, let's move on. Oh, got the arm broken, okay. Now, how, um, what happened with uh, Toya? What happened when I got arrested? Uh, did you go to the house and uh, I kept calling your phone and it wasn't no answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, and when I got there, I, mentioned something about me calling the police. Did Toya threaten me? Did she get out of hand when I said that about the police coming down? Yeah. Okay, I just want to leave it short because this case is still open. Did she have a gun? Yeah. Did she point it in my direction? Yeah. When you, when she had a gun, were you standing on the side of her trying to come to the car and she told you, you are not free to go anywhere. Look, Greg ain't going no effing well. Is that what was said? Yeah. Yeah or yes, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and, and how do you feel right now? Good, I'm just really That's good. a blessing. I just wanna make sure so I don't, you know. Okay, how many times you think you had a fight? In your life? A lot. You don't know the number? No. So, when, okay, back to domestic violence. When me and your dad was fighting, right? Mm -hmm. Did we used to break things? Yeah. Like what? Glass. What else? Tables. Keep going. Those. Mm hmm Walls. Uh-huh. Do you yeah. understand that that's not healthy? Yeah. And that's why it was important for two toxic individuals to not kind of be together. Co-parenting is not a bad problem. But maybe sometimes people can be too toxic for one another. It just don't have to be always one person. It takes two. Are you aware? Yeah. Okay. So, it was a couple of times that I got upset that you left without my permission and there was no communication with the third parties. And when I say third parties, I'm talking about family, correct? Mm -hmm. So, did you want to say anything about, you know, what's bothering you, the fights that was occurring, like, a hard core pour it out right now or what you got going on mentally. Um, again, do that. I also, when I when you're done, I also want to discuss 
what was your experience on the bus today? How did you feel? But right now we gonna focus on overall. How long we got this? Hmm? How long? How long what? This gonna be. Not that long. Go ahead and um, explain to them um, your experience. How was the fights that you seen growing up and uh, the family bond? Like, just give them a rough draft of your life. Say it again. Give them a rough draft of your life. Like your look, your, your look, what you, your two cents of what you want to say about what you've been doing. Because it was I something really, else you wanted to mention about the car situation. But. I really had a lot while I was growing up. But like sometimes you just fall off sometimes. Like stuff happens. So. I already told y'all half of the stuff that I've been through. It's really good. That's it. You good from right there? Yeah. So you good on the situation when I was in the car? You, you don't want to tell that? No. You sure? Because I don't mind. Why not? Sure, don't let know that. i tell him. All right, guys. Thank you. Don't forget. To, oh, one second. When you went through the nervous breakdown, right? Mm -hmm. Remember you had went to the hospital a couple of times? Why do you think you went to the hospital? Well, for this one. How did you feel? What did you see? I didn't see nothing. I just felt a vibration in my body. You felt different? Yeah. And then you hallucinated? Yeah. How many times within that time are you kept going in and out of the hospital? How many times do you think you kept going in and out to get Baker acted? I don't know. I thought it a lot. What's the number? Throw it out there. Six. Accurate. That's how many times you were Baker acted within a month, within a two months per se. All right, guys. I give you more information when it, sorry, sir. Mama loves you. Go ahead and get up. It's been real. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for listening to my life story. And um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I'll be back with the rest of my life story. It's going to get very intense. It's a lot. I've been holding it back, and I'm just ready to let it out. So continue to stay tuned. And uh, yeah, subscribe.